Hey guys, it's Mrs. Molina. I'm sorry that I can't be there with you today. We are going to do our computer orientation. First things first, we have brand new computers this year. I'm sure that you've noticed by now that these computers are really nice touchscreen devices. That also means that some things had to change. We are only sending computers home with fifth graders at this time. I know that some of you are disappointed and I understand. But we have to take care of these computers and make them last for a long time. So let's get started. These are all of the things you need to know about how to take care of your computer and what will happen if you do not do those things. So, how should I move with my computer? When we're taking our computer from place to place, we should use walking feet, hug or hold the computer with two hands, and make sure that the screen is closed. We should never run with our computer, swing it in our hands, or walk with it open. Just remember, like Megan Trainer said, it's all about that base. You should always be holding your computer by the base or bottom tightly against your chest. What are some good computer habits? We want to make sure that our computer is always charged, so we need to make sure that we plug it in before we leave every day. We also want to make sure that we are not sharing our passwords with our friends. Your login information is private. We don't want anyone logging into our accounts. For my fifth graders, we also want to make sure that we never leave our computers in a car. They could get too hot or possibly even get stolen. We also want to make sure that when we're using our computers, it's on a flat surface like a desk, away from all corners. So what are some things that we do not want to do? These are all things that will make Mrs. Molina and your teachers very disappointed. Sending rude or hateful messages through your email. Your teacher, Dr. Thomas, Dr. Harper, and Mrs. Molina can all read what you send in your emails. Make sure that you are writing school-related emails only. Also, do not stack computers on top of your cart. This makes Mrs. Molina cry. Put your computer back in the numbered slot where it belongs. This will make sure that we use our computer only and that our computers do not fall and get cracked. Do not eat or drink around your computer. It isn't safe and accidents happen. If it's snack time, please place your computer inside your desk. How can I keep my computer and information safe? The first thing we want to do is make sure that we are always saving our documents to our Google Drive. That way, if something happens with our computer, we still have access to it. We also don't want to change any computer settings. So we don't want to change our computer background, even if it's a cool picture of a manatee. And we also don't want to change our internet settings. We don't want to save or download anything to our computer. If we see something that says, download Minecraft for free, it is a scam. It is someone who is trying to hack into our personal information. What should I do if my computer stops working correctly? You're going to come to the library and see Mrs. Brandt. Everybody turn and say, good morning Mrs. Brandt. When you come into the library, you need to use your JJH Essentials. When you come in, look to see if there are people ahead of you, greet Mrs. Brandt, and then ask her if she can help you with your computer issue. Do not yell across the library or interrupt her while she's talking to another student. So what happens if I do not follow these expectations? You will lose the privilege of using a computer. Using a computer at school is something that not everyone gets to do. We need you to show that you are responsible and can take care of school property. If you repeatedly forget to charge your computer, break the screen, have missing keys, your teacher, Mrs. Brandt, Dr. Harper or Thomas, or myself may decide that you are not quite ready for that responsibility and you will have to do all of your schoolwork with paper and pencil by hand. So now that we know how to take care of our computers, it's contract time. 
A contract is an agreement between people that says they promise to do certain things in order to get something in return. You are promising us that you will take care of a computer while you have it and you are getting to use the computer in return. You will need to read over each line and check the box so that I know you read it. When you're finished, sign and date the bottom. I have the date listed right here. When you're done, please make a stack of your contracts in the front and return your pins. You will be checking out books after this. Make sure that while you're looking for books, you're using walking feet, using a whisper voice, and using your shelf marker. One student will be picked from each class who does these things the very best, and they will earn 10 points for their house. See you next week.